This is the current global undersea communication cable map. The total number exceeds 500 cables, with a total length of over 1.3 million kilometers, enough to circle the Earth 32 times. These cables carry more than 99% of the world's international data traffic. Even the video you're watching right now is likely transmitted via undersea fiber optic cables. So how exactly are all these undersea fiber optic cables laid? At first, you might think it's just a matter of tossing the cables into the sea, but it turns out that idea is way too simplistic. Because the seabed environment is complex, laying an undersea cable first requires detailed planning and surveying. It's important to avoid crossing dangerous areas like underwater mountains, volcanoes, and earthquake zones. Instead, relatively flat seabed areas are chosen, and the most suitable cable route is determined. Then, a cable-laying ship transports the cable to the installation area. These ships are equipped with cable storage holds, and a large cable-laying ship can carry thousands of kilometers of cable. Moreover, the cable-laying ship is equipped with advanced positioning systems to ensure the vessel moves along the preset route. Each cable route is divided into deep sea and shallow sea sections. For deep sea areas deeper than 1,000 meters, cable laying is relatively simple. The cables can be directly dropped onto the ocean floor. But in shallow sea areas less than 1,000 meters deep, things become much more complicated. That's because cables in shallow waters face many threats. For instance, over 70% of undersea cable damage is caused by ship trawling or anchors. Additionally, sharks, being sensitive to electromagnetic signals, may bite the cables. Strong currents in shallow areas can also wash the cables away, causing them to twist or break. And repairs are challenging, especially when the exact location of the damage is unknown. That's why undersea cables are built with multiple protective layers. Even though the cables look thick, the actual data transmission is carried out by just a few fiber strands thinner than human hair. During installation, ships use water jets or mechanical trenchers to dig trenches into the seabed, about one to three meters deep, where the cables are buried and naturally covered. Finally, near the shore, the undersea cables are connected to land-based stations to establish internet connectivity. It's thanks to these undersea cables that information from any corner of the globe can be transmitted and shared rapidly, making the world a true global village. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome tech stories from the future.